Hello friends, Vibhur here. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a fun video. For a long, long time, I've been using this. This is my Seagate's personal cloud server. Uh, this is a NAS storage with the three terabyte of internal drive. Now this has served me well for uh, over four years now, but then I ran out of space. My data storage uh, went way above three terabyte and I've, I've been using external drives and everything to put my external data. Now, another problem which I had with this is that uh, it only had one drive support, which was not expandable and it did not had any backup options. So if my drive dies, pretty much all my photographs, my videos and everything just goes away. So what I did like six months ago was I purchased this. Now, this is the Synology's ds1019 plus disk station well it supports two gigabit ethernet ports so essentially the speed went double it's two gbps connection and it has five bays of storage every base supports one drive so essentially i can have five drives in this beast and each of these supports 16 terabyte i'm not sure if you can see this so this is a 16 terabyte of drive so i have put in two drives in here so essentially my this server is 16 plus 16 32 terabyte and it supports a raid configuration so if any of my drive dies tomorrow i can just replace it with another drive and my entire data will be 100 percent secure i'll not lose any of my photographs movies my entire libraries all the videos, everything are pretty much safe. And when I run out of space, I've got an option to add three more drives to it. So anyways, this video is not about Synology. This is about my Seagate's drive. Now, since I've moved on to Synology and I've got my drives and everything and, and everything set up over there, I'm essentially not using this. So instead of throwing this away, today I'm thinking I would rip this apart. I'll open this, this outer chassis, take this drive out and probably put this drive, this three terabyte drive into my NAS storage box, the Synology NAS storage box and increase the capacity of that storage by three terabytes. So essentially I want to use the internal drive of this. So let's open this. So this is a single chassis. I think to open it, I would require a, a plier or a screwdriver somewhere over here to open this thing up. I think this should work. I don't want to break this. Probably if I want to reuse it. There you go. So this opens, this has got a three terabyte, 3000 GB of NAS HDD. So definitely it's a NAS drive and I can actually use this. It does have screws over here. So So that was essentially the logic board inside. So we have this drive now. Let's put this into the Seagate storage and then try to configure this. So these screw points will automatically align over here. And now all you have to do is place this back. So the drive is pretty much locked. And then let's put this back inside. That's it. It goes in and then we have got a key over here to lock 
all the compartments in so it prevents accidental opening of the drives when this box is running so here we are uh, logged into our nas system we go to storage manager the drive has already been put into the nas server so you can see that there are two drives which were earlier 16 terabyte each and this is one unused drive so if we go to the HDD section we can see that there is one drive 2.7 terabyte which is actually 3 tb so this is unused and i can add it to my current pool of drives so the third drive can come up over here now i don't want the third drive to be over here because i already have two drives in the pool both are 16 terabytes each whenever i'll add another drive to the same pool i want that to be of the same size so i'll i'll try to add 16 terabyte over there but i want to use this drive so i can create a new pool altogether for this drive for the unused drive and i can move my probably things for which i don't need another backup like my my macbooks and my all my systems so i've got like five mac systems so i can uh do the time machine backup for all the mac systems to this particular three terabyte drive and that should be fine it's it's mostly unlikely that in one single day my mac servers my mac systems and this drive everything goes bad so it's it's mostly unlikely to happen so uh, we'll create a new storage pool for high flexibility it gives me an option for high performance or flexibility with high flexibility i can choose raid options and everything in the future I'm not going to do that most likely, but I'll select higher flexibility and I'll select an SHR option because if tomorrow I have another three terabyte drive, say if I want to create a RAID out of it, I can do that just for fun part. So I'll give a name. So I'll just give it a three TB so that I remember it's a three terabyte separate partition. If I want to play with this, I can play with this partition and do not touch my other partition. It's going to ask me that there is one drive available do you want to add that drive to it yes i'll click next gives me a warning all the data will be erased i'm okay with that i'll click okay so it says a uh, bad sector automatically check now i already did that before turning this video on i already checked for uh, bad sectors and everything and dsm is anyways already installed on this drive so i'll go for no so it says that it is going to create a three terabyte separate volume storage storage pool for me and it will not have a uh, data protection of course it will not have data protection because i am just putting in one single drive in this pool to have an shr data protection and uh, drive redundancy i actually need at least two drives in the pool so that i'm fine with that i click on apply and it's going to do its magic in the back end and create a storage pool for me now the pool is created and if i check on the storage pool section so this is my storage pool one which has two drives right now and this is my storage pool 2 uh, which has got a single drive 3 terabyte but it says i cannot use it because i have not created a volume onto it so before using the drive i need to create a volume now if i go to volume i just have one volume right now which is my actual uh, 14 terabyte volume which was like combined with two 16 terabytes i can create a new volume over here just click create click on custom go to next choose an existing storage pool which i have shr2 because shr1 is that storage pool one is already been exhausted i've already made a volume out of it so storage pool 2 is available i'll create a volume over here click on next i'll just create a bt a bt rfs volume because that gives me maximum usability and maximum advanced features ext4 is better for linux operating system and stuff like that but i'll just go for bt rfs because that's in my nas storage right now i'll click on next and I, it gives me an option to just put a description for my volume one i have not put any description at the time of creating because i thought i'll always have just one one volume in this case though i will put a sign over here that this is a three terabyte volume a separate volume altogether so that whenever i am using it i know what volume i'm using so i'll give the maximum available just i'm not creating any partitions i'll just have single partition for this drive i'll click on next and i'll just click on apply so that's it my second volume is created so that was my first volume and this is my second volume it says i've used 17 mb that's for some system files or whatever so how do we use it 
we go to file station all these drives that are there on the file station they are all on volume one so if you go to any drive you will see that it comes up that's on volume one volume one so all these drives are basically created on volume one so to create a new file share and use it on your mac or windows or any operating system you go to control control panel go to shared folder and now we can create a new file share i'll name it because i'll be using it for my uh, mac uh, mac backups and everything I'll, I'll i'll name it as apple backups description backups of the systems so here it's asking me should i put a backup quota so i'll not put any quota over here and anyways i can change it afterwards if i want to i'll just click on next and i'll click on apply so it's going to create a new partition for me with apple backups and I'm going to give read write access to myself on this so that in, in Mac I have the same user so I can give the permissions to read and write on this particular drive and that's it done. So once we go back to our file station we can see that there's a new uh, folder come up over here which is Apple backups. So this is available and it will say it's created on on volume 2 so so guys this was just a small fun video i just wanted to transfer my nas from seagate to the synology nas server so i've already done that now i'll probably move my entire uh, time machine back up from from my earlier location to this new location and i'll free up my drive anyways i had a lot of drive space but i'll use this hard drive as my permanent backup for all the mac systems that i have hope you like this video guys i'll make more of these fun videos see you again in my next video bye bye